And welcome back to Puxel Games, where we ooh, are playing Captain of Industry. And uh, this area finally finished. Good lord. Um, that's amazing. So, why don't we highlight this area? Okay. Get all that cleared. I don't like sort of straggler designations in too many places. Okay, so this. Uh, we can continue that. All of this. Now, do we want a ramp over here? I think we might. Get that in there. Once that's locked in, we can... Get our final square because I want to fill that in with dirt. That's primed for dirt. Oh, we've got a little extra over here. Somebody, somebody messed that up. How did that not get finished? How did that not get finished? Yeah, see, if I come down here and dump, if they try to dump, like, trash in there, that is going to just destroy that nice, clean corner. Because, of course, of course that happens to me every time. Can we please get that little corner filled in? I would really appreciate it. Um, all right, let's get my dirt filler. Get him ready to go over here. And then dump. Let's get ourselves a, a line that we can ramp. All right. Are you guys I'm not even done yet? Yeah, see, I, like I said, only the small trucks really can navigate in here. If I made this too wide, like two squares wide, then then the big trucks could fill it in. But then it would then it would be two squares wide. Like the little border is nice. There we go. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Um. All right, and then dump. Oh, stop trying to. There we go. No, no. There we go. Much better. Nice clean area there. We can take the dirt dump designation area. And just expand that down all the way here. There we go. Obviously, not a lot of dirt to be had here. Um, this guy is dumping over here. So once I have a new dirt designation, I always remove 
remove that so it prioritizes this area here. It, it just takes it a lot longer. Um, no trees to harvest. Yeah, I'm aware. You know what? We can dial the number of trees down. Actually, let's just pause you and I'll just take all the trucks away because it's going to be a while before we get access to that. All right. Looks like we are done with that little bit, which is glorious. So let's get... Right, and why not just increase that a little bit? Because we have a, a lot to dig at from out here. And now that we have some dirt storage, I'm a little bit more comfortable about being widespread with my dump zones. All right, <clears throat> let's start prototyping what we need. Uh, that gold for well the gold initially I sent my vehicle out here um, We upgraded our reputation to two and now we can trade for microchips now this trade is Horribly inefficient when it comes to gold to microchips the you know real ratio is You know it takes to make six microchips like six gold Right, because um, you have to put this process through four stages, so it's 1.5. That's three, and that's another three to give you six. So that's six to give you six, or 12 to give you 12. So essentially, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, gold to chip. This, however, is a four-to-one ratio. Pretty bad, <clears throat> but we need. <clears throat> we need that um, to boost up the number of microchips that we can get. And they, they get they get dumped in here, of course, and then that they can deliver over here, which gets converted into this, which then we can convert into servers. <clears throat> it's the only way to get it for now. Okay. What do we want to do um, about... The microchip machines. Well, once we have enough, I've been building up my flops. <clears throat> I've, I calculate we need 24 uh, teraflops in order to do the thing I want to do, the bare minimum. The bare minimum of what I want. Um, and a good spot to do it is probably going to be over here. I know it's gonna. We're gonna have to route like acid way over here, but I want a nice big area that I can expand into, and eventually have a full line of these things. Um, so if we look at microchip machine two, I think that's where we're gonna jump to. I did do a little bit of um, high-level research with my extra flops, so we have some uh, we have some higher-level research here done I still haven't done arc furnace or new medical supplies we just don't have the flops for that I need to be able to make my own servers in order to be comfortable enough with that okay so um, basically what we want is we want three of these uh, how do we want to face these See, this is way over here. I don't know if there's a right way to do this or a good way to do this, but 
Do something like one, two, three. Now I want to eventually have, so we can have three rows of these. Um, we'll figure that out in a second though. Um, because let's say uh, stage 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A. As you can see, they take all of the same ingredients, right? All of the same ingredients. Um, and what you can do is prioritize this side, and then the, all the other priorities are set right, because they all depend on this one. So I want to make sure to prioritize the four above all else, and the three above that, and the two above that. The last thing that should happen is wafers, you know, should come in, um, and then we want a flat balancer on this side, and that will feed that in. We need a sorter on this side. Sorter is going to filter out um, Sorter is going to filter out chips. And then we just take this and put it back and prioritize this route. The chips themselves, if we come down here, we could do this, flip it, could, you know, rearrange it however we want. Um, but I want to give myself plenty of space and eventually if you can afford more of these you can have this route back and into another line or you just repeat this right you just you just add another three and you just basically copy this whole setup so that's what I want to be able to do is copy that setup um, which means I need to rethink this into something like this. That should still be prioritized. This should still be microchips. Um, all right. So that is all of the... Um, wait. Wait. Silicon wafer to 1A, 1C to 2A, 2C to 3A, 3C to 4A. Yes, that's what I wanted. So the next one um, is the A's into the B's. So 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A. As you can see, these all also have the same stuff in them, right? So once this gets done with the 1A, it'll go over here and go 1A to 2, 1B. So that means these are the Bs. So um, 1B to 1C, basically all the golds. And the last 4B is the microchips, right? So that's why we filter the microchips out because those are the only parts that are done. Everything else has to come back here and go through this whole loop again with all the same materials. Um, and then microchips can come out and we want you know, some rampity ramps here because we are going to have a whole lot of material coming in. But I want to reuse, like we have all this copper over here and we're going to, we're going to, 
we're going to ramp up the copper demand. And that is going to destroy my vehicles for a little while. Um, ideally, you would bring these in, right? You would have, we would have massive lanes of copper coming in. Or at least a single, you know, single thing of copper coming in. Um, all right. I need <coughs> copper from here. See if we can write this. Um, yeah, we got some time. Uh, can we just skim along the top of this? That would be glorious. And then cut in here. And this is copper. Or plastic. No, it's copper. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're going to have plastic. Quit trying to connect. Okay. Oh no, that's that's in. Boy, I would have run that all the way down. We don't want to go across here because that cuts off access to all of this stuff. I don't want to do that. Um. And then we want to come in like so. I mean, ideally, I would ramp this up. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, gold. Gold should be easy. I can I can just bring gold in. Remember, these are not going to chew through this material very fast. Like it's just these are very very slow. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. That and that. Um, acid and water. Uh, so yeah, three gold a minute. Uh, three and three. Three and three. Yeah, it's not. It's not a huge draw. Um, the really tough part is going to be the silicon wings. These guys here. So this is uh, six a minute. This consumes uh, six a minute. And then the return. right straight in so that's the microchips that are done gold um, should be pretty simple and then acid and water hmm. how are we going to do that there's acid um, I have a little bit little bit I can tweak out here okay Get out I'm gonna try to go over the top of this Trying not to interfere with too much here. And. Hmm. Uh, 
This is acid. Now, what do we do about water? Oh, Lord, where's my water? There's some water. Coming on over here. Okay. Um, look at that. Water is just right there. Get it in here. Under that. There's water. How about that? Look at that. Um, now the really tough part is the silicon wafers. How am I going to route these things? Oh, man. Oh, I can't. I could maybe... Cross. Oh, I've got to raise up above that. Oh, man. Yikes. You know it is what it is, I guess. Go under that. And we're just going to... Go out here. Well, let's uh, drop her down. No, I want to drop her down here and then in. Because if we add another one, I'll be able to just go out like that, right? So, <clears throat> not too bad. Let's uh, get these run. How many workers do we have? We have a decent amount of workers. The other thing I'd like to do, how many construction workers do we have? <clears throat> I need to get another one of these going. Two X, please. will help the sheer amount of um, coal that I've been burning over here I've been I've been sitting over you know six megawatts for quite some time all right this should have well it's getting close to being hot enough want to make sure all of our pipes oh yeah I need to almost forgot I need to do another four of these that'll help my farm water stay full because I am uh, I'm hurting for water a little bit here and there depending on how much it rains this should Increase the amount of water I'm, you know, the excess water that I'm sending to the farms. There we go. Just a nice constant supply. And we're still not using a full rod a minute. Um, so we have another another tick mark that we can that we can enable there and uh, get even more stuff out of there. That's gotta be done. 
Really? Ship in battle. All right, now that that ramp is done, I can finish that off. All right, victory. Nine ninety. Well, why not? I mean, we have a tough crew. They're battle hardened. Well, I think we'll be fine. Uh, also, I'm gonna pause it while I do this. I need to create a fail safe in here. Oh, come on. Click. 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 Before I forget. Always a wise idea. There we go. Almost. Almost backed those up. Boy, that pipe was close to backed up, wasn't it? Uh, so the priority is going to be out over to here. But if this water backfills, if this water backfills, and my dumps cannot keep up with a little bit of excess that I anticipate, then something horribly wrong would have happened, and I need to have this. This is all steam depleted. Oh, the one that I needed was on the top for some reason. Steam low, oxygen, nitrogen, exhaust, carbon dioxide. There it is, steam depleted. Um, I mean, it can handle 600 a minute, and there's no way I'm going to 600 a minute here. But, um, yeah, priority out will be this. But yeah, if this backfills and backstuffs, um, I need to be able to vent that steam. Um, I had a little issue with my test world. Uh, where that all backed up, and this thing, uh, yeah, it does, uh, it scrammed. It, the emergency shut off, it was bad. It was very damaged, took a ton of maintenance to build it back up again. Um, but anyway, wanted to do that while I, while I thought of it, because I, I know that if I would have thought of it, I would have forgotten it, because I wouldn't have done it right away. Um, all right, ship in battle, we won. Location explored, good, and the ship's automatically coming back, so it's always nice. We should have this guy. Where did all of our, where did all our microchips go? Well, they came over here. Now here's the problem with all the flops here, right? I need, I need 24 teraflops to get this system up and running um in order to get those teraflops i need servers in order to get servers i need components in order to get components yeah it's just one of those let's uh try to can make make these a little bit faster i could upgrade obviously this to this but then it would use yet another four um, like how many of these? Yeah, see these produce so slowly. It, it's hardly worthwhile. All right, so he's bringing in just a minuscule amount of things. I have enough for two two more flops. Ah. I'm, I'm tempted to just give myself some flops because I've been recording now for or I've been on this game now for roughly four hours and I've got two episodes recorded. That includes this one. So you can tell how much time is spent between episodes. Um, let's at least get some of this stuff run. What? How am I out of reds? How am I out of reds? 
Seriously. Wow. Um, I just... Let's, let's, let's get her done here. Oh my god, are you seriously not upgraded at all? There we go. Yeah, the biggest issue is going to be electronics. <clears throat> By far the biggest issue. Because now each of these is 24, each of these is 40. Oh, well, I guess that's 24, but I, I'm still going to need... And every time the game freezes like that, I think it's going to crash. Okay, um, let me get everything up and running here. I have lots of Unity to go around, so might as well, might as well boost things up a little bit. Doesn't seem like they're producing very fast, does it? How is... Look at electronics. Rubber is fine, but copper. Copper is not doing so good. Our, how is our supply? Supply is fine. Like, what is going on with our copper here? Hmm. Yeah, I need, I need like bigger trucks that haul things and stuff like we need we need prioritize this I have, I've been tempted just to artificially increase my truck truck cargo because I haven't used that feature of the mod yet I want to see how it, see how it works see how it's you know See how much it screws up everything else in the game. Because <laughs> um, right now these are, you know, three scoops to one truck. Now I could, I could bump that up, so it's way, way more. It would save on fuel, certainly. And as you can see, this is net positive on water. After that first batch of water that I delivered over here, it has not needed really any more water at all and so this will eventually completely fill up which is why we have priority on um, the the wastewater here that's number one um, and priority out I want to set as the tank itself and then the secondary out is dumping into uh, the little pool of water that I have over there. Um, and then the other input here, I need to priority that in as well. That doesn't, you know, I only have two inputs. I just shouldn't really need to priority this stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, that's superfluous. I, don't, I didn't need to do that. I'm going to leave it though. Because it makes me feel better. That's why. All right. Well, slowly, slowly digging out the mountain. Anyway, that is going to do it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button if you've been enjoying the series. Comment down below if you have a uh, something to say or a game suggestion to cover in the next series. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.